Hey, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this, we're just going to be doing a mini build. This is just a small build. If you guys end up liking the idea behind throwing these out every once in a while just on the channel, let me know. But this is a quick five-minute build on what you can do with Blood Grease. Now, for a little bit of a tutorial here, the Ripple Blade, along with the Crescent Hailbird, I believe it's called, as well as Vera's Bouquet, but let's leave out the last one because it's obviously abysmal, are the only three in the game that will scale with blood grease meaning that blood grease isn't a flat amount it actually scales with the weapon itself and you're able to get a lot more bleed buildup out of blood grease now out of the three the crescent hellbird is probably the best as far as damage and reach goes but believe it or not the ripple blade itself is the one that builds up status the best if you have around 80 arcane or even 60 arcane regular blood grease will get you over 100 bleed and with wild strikes it can build up really fast and if you use drawstring blood grease, you can get over 130 bleed per attack on a relatively quick weapon. Making the Ripple Blade a fine choice for blood grease. And I don't usually do a lot of builds like this that are relatively short and simple, but this is short and simple. For anybody that is into different greases that wants to be able to use something like blood grease, spurific grease, poison grease, all will scale incredibly well with the Ripple Blade. And then you can't change the Ash of War, but you do get wild strikes on it, which can build up a lot of consecutive successive attack hits, as well as the bleed procs, making it a pretty potent weapon and something you can get relatively early as well. And again, this is just a quick mini five minute build that I wanted to throw out there, something that I kind of did on the side while I was doing other builds. By the way, you can get the Ripple Blade in Carry a Manor, the servant there sells it. And then, as far as blood grease itself goes, the cookbook is found in Fort Height. Just something fun you can do. And by the way, this build can go with the build that I'm doing tomorrow. You can literally do them. They're around the same stats. There's a dual Great Stars build for tomorrow that's absolutely fantastic. There's going to be a little bit of a teaser for the end at the end of this video for that build. Really fun build. Came out really well. This here is just something else you can do with the greases that I figured I'd share. Because I, I don't really hear about blood grease, but poison grease, all the greases in general that are in Elden Ring very often. I know not a lot of people use them, but if you're somebody that wants to make the best use out of them, you have to go, or you should go, you don't have to, but you should go with one of the three weapons, preferably one of the two, that scale really well with Arcane and can also have Blood Grease on them. And the two that scale with an S are both the Ripple Blade and I believe the Crescent Hailbird. Again, Vare's Bouquet I did a build on. It is absolutely terrible. I really wouldn't recommend it. Even with Blood Grease, it can't be made much better. Let's get into equipment. This is a fun one. For equipment, we have the Ripple Blade plus 25, preferably. We have any seal will do, white mask. We had the Raptor's Black Feathers on, but you don't really need it for this build. Lord of Blood's Exaltation, Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Listen's Prosthesis, Dragon Crest, and then we have the Thorny tier, and then the Fate tier for buffs as well as Blood Grease. Now for stats, I'm on a 150 character, but this is something you're probably going to do earlier in the game. And the main thing here is to just go high arcane and then the base amount on the weapon. You're going to get ridiculous levels of damage as far as the dex and strength. You only need 11. doesn't really scale up in damage much past that. It's mainly an arcane scaling weapon for both the damage and what you're going to get out of the blood grease as well. So yeah, the stats here are pretty straightforward. Hope you guys enjoyed that as far as stats and description of everything. Hope I was pretty clear on it. But if you're going to use blood grease if you're going to use poison grease, spurific grease, this is definitely something you can go with. It scales really well. It's going to be really convenient for your build and setup to go with a weapon that scales with the grease itself. Let's get into buffs. For buffs, we're drinking our tier first, and then we're going to cast Golden Vow. You can use Blessings Boon if you want for some extra HP. Flame Grammy Strength. And then after we fill up our FP, we're going to use Blood Grease, and then we have Wild Strikes on it. You can't change the Ash of War, but the Ash of War isn't bad on this and it makes for good build up and damage. That was just a quick mini build. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that was fun. It was something that's a little bit informative and it's something you could do early game too. If you go to carry a manor and you happen to get the ripple blade and you want to throw on some blood grease, this is definitely something you can do to get some build up and it naturally has wild strikes on it, which isn't too bad. Now, tomorrow's video came out really well. This is a little bit of a teaser for it here. I just want to throw this out here, but we're going to be doing a great stars build. This is an awesome build. It did a ton of damage. We did a ton of posture damage as well. This one came out fantastically. Cannot wait for this one. This was one of the most fun runs I've had in a good bit. Took on a lot of bosses, got a lot of posture breaks and a lot of damage. That's a really good one. It's a really good one, really powerful one. And definitely be sure to join the Discord. There's close to 250 in there now. It's awesome. Definitely be sure to sub. Check out all the awesome builds that are on the channel. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys there.